Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Main Avenue Creamery. This is from United Dairy Farmers. Now, we don't get a lot of United Dairy mm, Farmers dairy in well. our area, uh, but we found these at Jungle Gems International Market. They were $6.99 a piece. They so get a bunch of them up there. They do. Um, and I'll talk more about that in one second. But this is the Brownies and Fudge. And I have the Buckeye Fudge Swirl and the Chocolate Peanut Butter. So the reason I was willing to buy these specifically from United Dairy Farmers is because they're sealed. Yep. And you can tell they're sealed because you can see the little tab sticking out. So on Instagram, I had posted a picture. They had one, I remember it was called like Paintball. And it, it they had some that were some really neat colors and they were United Dairy Farmers, but they were not sealed. Uh, they weren't sealed at all, so it's like, okay, I'll buy the ones that are sealed. I'm not going to buy the ones that aren't. So, uh, I think well, these are... Well, they have the machines to do it. Exactly. Exactly. These probably for $6.99 a piece. I think these were more expensive. They run them and they them. look more expensive. They these, do. These uh, containers look more high-end. They do. Than the other ones. The other ones look kind of uh, kitty like um, well, they look more like a, a store brand or something. Yes, yes. So, uh, so anyway, that's why I bought these and did not buy the other. We actually bought six flavors of this. So we're going to do this review, but then we'll have another one of three different flavors to review. Uh, so this, it says a fourth generation ice cream maker since 1939. House made ice cream. This is brownies and fudge, sweet cream ice cream, fudgy brownies, and ribbons of rich fudge. Uh, they are, it says, uh, fudgy dark chocolate brownies, smooth rich fudge crafted in our kettle. Um, let's see, I want to see where they're mainavenuecreamery.com. And they are made in Norwood, Ohio. Makes sense why Jungle Gems has not it. Yes. Uh, there's three servings. Two-thirds cup, 137 grams is 370 calories. Or you can eat the entire pint. It is a full pint for 1,120 calories. So we're talking Ben & Jerry's calories yeah. here. Yeah. There's some Ben & Jerry's in the way up there. Wow. Looks very well filled, though. Yes. <laughs> Look at that ring of, like, fudge. Okay. And we've had it sitting out for what? Maybe five ten minutes, minutes, ten minutes, something like yeah. that. Just to soften it up a bit. I mean, you can see there's nothing. I mean, you couldn't take a bite without getting something in that. I'm going to try to get the plainest mm -hmm. possible. It's not wonderful. Mm. Even the plain, I got chocolate in it. Oh, there's little chunks in there. Yeah, little chips. Okay, I haven't got one of those yet. I'm gonna get that with some of that fudge. Not chips, they're um, little chocolate. I mean, little uh, fudge pieces. Mmm. It's really good. I love the swirl. Got this chocolate swirl there. Mm-hmm. I love the um. Let's go. The um density of the that fudge piece, and mm -hmm. it's it's a really rich. Fudge fiber, that um, that's very very nice. It's it's it does taste like fudge yeah. and not chocolate. Right now there is a chocolate swirl in there, like a, a hot mm, fudge like sundae a hot kind fudge, of. Yes. Um, that's really thick. But that's not what I'm talking about. You're talking right, about fudge. Yeah, like right in the center. Yeah. That actually tastes like fudge and not just chocolate yeah. ice cream. No, I agree. There's a difference. And the texture is like a fudgy texture. Yeah, it's got like a little brownie in them or something. Yeah, not an ice cream texture. I like that. Oh, it's very, very good. And if you like a hot fudge sundae, you'll love that, that chocolate swirl in there. I mean, it's not jazzy or anything, but it's, it's, very it's good. just it's very good. It's very rich. Yeah, it's, it's rich. It's nice. Uh, this, I can see why it's something calories, too. I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Buckeye Fudge Swirl, and I had to get Buckeye because we were in Ohio at Jungle Gems. And, yeah, uh, chocolate peanut butter, that's the way you do it. Well, Ohio's the Buckeye State. So, salted peanut butter ice cream with chocolate peanut butter Buckeyes and swirls of rich fudge. This one, two thirds cup, 137 grams. Wow. 430 calories per, per two thirds cup or 1,290 calories for the pint. Is that is that one more since it's just chocolate peanut butter? 
No, no this is this is the nice. highest calorie one here. This one right here. But a Buckeye is a like a ball of peanut butter oh cream. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, no wonder. It's a oh ball of gosh. peanut butter cream dipped in chocolate with the, like the peanut butter showing on the top, so it kind of looks like a, a the Buckeye, the nut. Yeah, so I'll scrape that off the ball. Yeah. Why would you waste that? You don't waste if that. If we weren't on camera, it. yes, I was gonna say <laughs> if we weren't on camera, Kevin would have licked that. I would have. I would have licked it on camera. I don't care. Okay. I would have licked the other top too, by the way. I had chocolate off red too. Wonder if people would pay to see you lick things. I don't think so. <laughs> we could start I'm a, not Gene Simmons. A, we could you. start a Patreon where yeah. Kev, watch Kevin lick things. <laughs> uh, at the very top, no telling what people would suggest I lick. That is a buckeye at the very top. So when I hold this up, you'll see what it look, what a buckeye actually looks like. <laughs> See it's chocolate with a look a little yes, brown. Yes, it looks like little eyeballs in there. Yeah. Watch out because there's chocolate right there. Oh, I got it on my finger. You got to hear that. Huh? Can't leave chocolate on the table. Okay. I'm going to not get a Buckeye. For See, me. now I am getting a Buckeye. That's where I went right for it. Mmm, peanut butter ice cream. Mm-hmm. I don't listen to the description. I like to be surprised. That chocolate is not quite as rich as the fudgy chocolate in that, but it's still very chocolatey. Yeah, just the ice cream and the chocolate's good. That might be the same fudge. Hold on, one more. I love the Buckeyes. I can literally like just eat the Buckeyes and nothing else. Okay, I'll get one right now. Oh, it's good. It has a... Um, I hear a crunch in there. It has a thin milk chocolate crispy mm. coating. Yeah. You are good peanut butter. And then the too. peanut butter is delicious. The peanut butter is sweet. Mm. Mm hmm. I like it being cold too. Mm hmm. I do too. That's really nice. I've never had a cold buckeye. Mm hmm. No. Try to eat it all together. That's the best part of this is the Buckeyes. I like all of it. Oh, I like all of it too, but like literally I can get a Buckeye. There's so many Buckeyes in here. Yeah, they did a good job. Mm-hmm. Like and them. like I said, the first one had a like a hot food sundae chocolate and it was really thick and really dark kind of. Mm -hmm. This one has just a pure chocolate syrup, like a Hershey syrup. In there, swirl. Did you get any of that? It's all around. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I got plenty. I'm, it's really good, and I love the peanut butter ice cream. That's what I was gonna say. I really do love the peanut butter ice cream flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even so, even if you don't get a Buckeye, you're still getting that peanut butter flavor the whole time. Yes, but there's tons of Buckeyes in there. I mean, like I've eaten like five Buckeyes, I I, and there's still Buckeye in my. Bucket. I got two, and I don't see any more right on the right on the top level. But there's well, probably some maybe right they right put here. a lot on the top before Could they be. close it, and that's why I got so many. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's some down there. I just don't see. I would buy that one again. I oh, like very, that very one good. more than the first. I do too. Okay, now this one is uh, chocolate peanut butter. Dark, rich chocolate ice cream with swirls of creamy peanut butter. It is 370 calories for a serving or 1,120 calories for a pint. I wonder if one of the differences, I'm just guessing here, between this, what, what is this called, Main Street or something like that? Yes. And the regular is the amount of stuff they put in there. Uh, so if you buy the regular kind, you'll have to let us know, does the regular have all the stuff in it? Like, yeah, yeah, because they did look fun though. Um, they look like fun flavors. Like I said paintball. I, like for some reason I'm right. thinking there was like a cotton candy, yeah. stuff like that. Well, they have the regulars too, the vanilla and chocolate. Uh, that is a nice peanut butter swirl in it. I'm trying to avoid it right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll do that too then. And just get the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm. Nice chocolate, but it is a little darker. It is. I mean, not like bitter or dark chocolate, but it is a little darker than just regular chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream. Dude, look at this. This is no, but it has a good deep chocolate, the rich oh, chocolate it's malty. flavor. Yeah, it's nice. That's peanut butter. Right. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got a lot of peanut butter. Wow, <laughs> uh, it's frozen where it's snappy.
I don't think you get as much peanut butter mm -mm. as you did in the Buckeye. No, I mean when you get a swirl though, it's quite it's quite good. It's a very it's kind of a dark roasted peanut peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Do you get that? It's a little dark. Yeah, it's not the same peanut butter as the Buckeye. No, no it's not as sweet or anything. No, it's good, but it's not. Or at least it for some reason it's not coming across this way, but. Well, you're all mixing it with that darker chocolate too. Yes, that was, the Buckeye was in peanut butter, uh, the peanut butter ice cream with the Buckeye. And this, that chocolate, I think really, really hides a lot of the peanut butter. Yeah, and it makes it much darker. Single. Yes, I, I don't like, like this. There's nothing wrong with it, but the Buckeye was so sensational. Mm -hmm that I would always get the Buckeye. I tell you what, one thing I do get out of this that I didn't get out of the Buckeye is saltiness. There's a little salty. I got a just a, one little bit of salt. I mean, literally, I tasted it and it was gone uh, out of that. Out of the chocolate one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've eaten like um, three pieces of swirl. Yeah. Um, it's in the peanut butter. It's, it's salty. Yes the, yes, the peanut butter itself, not the chocolate ice cream. I don't like that one. I would rather have I'd rather have that yes. and peanut butter ice cream I would too. with peanut butter swirl mm -hmm. than, than to have the chocolate ice cream with the peanut butter. Yeah, they could definitely do peanut butter ice cream and peanut butter swirl. Uh, for, that would be excellent because yeah. I, I like the peanut butter, but I think it's just, like you said, being covered up a lot by the chocolate because mm -hmm. the chocolate is so dark and rich and strong mm -hmm. that um, it's good if you're looking for that, but it does cover up the peanut butter. Yes. So both of us are picking Buckeye. the Buckeye. Yeah, the Buckeye's, Buckeye's really, really good. But you know what? That, that fudge is is a fudge brownie is awesome too. I really, really like it. As well. I do too. I would probably pick the fudge brownie second yeah. and then the chocolate last. Oh, the chocolate would definitely be last for me. Yeah, even though the chocolate's good, it's just, it's mainly just chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a lot of my, chocolate. Still got salt on my tongue. Oh, do you? Uh, but if you've had this brand, you'll have to let They're us very know. Good. Uh, this is a brand new, first time we've ever tried this brand. Uh, so like I said, we're gonna have three more completely different flavors in another video coming up. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.